Welcome to our video on sales process automation and the power of blueprints. In today's digital age, businesses are constantly seeking ways to streamline their sales operations and boost productivity. In this video, I'll cover what a blueprint is and how it can make your sales processes more efficient. At the end of the video, I'll show you how to create and use blueprints on Zoho CRM. Before we begin, please leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Now let's get started. A blueprint is an online replica of your business process, acting as a roadmap to ensure consistency and efficiency in your sales operations. Every organization has some sort of business process they use to run their business, and each business process has various steps or stages that an organization wants you to follow to complete a deal. By defining specific stages and actions within your blueprint, you eliminate confusion and reduce the chances of critical steps being missed. Automation of routine tasks and actions increase efficiency, allowing your team to focus on building relationships and closing deals. Overall, blueprints streamline operations, enhance productivity, and provide a structured approach to achieving sales success. Now that we understand the significance of blueprints in automating your sales process, let's dive into the essential elements that work together seamlessly to create a structured and efficient sales blueprint. Below, we have a blueprint on Zoho CRM. I'll be walking you through each of the elements you see here. The first element is stages, and these represent the different phases of your sales cycle, such as lead qualification, negotiation, and closing. Each stage defines a specific point in your sales process and serves as a milestone for progress. By organizing your sales cycle into stages, you gain clarity on where each deal stands and what needs to be done to move forward. The stages are represented in white here. The next element is transitions, and these are the connections between stages in your sales process. They define how a deal moves from one stage to another, they can be triggered based on specific criteria such as completing certain actions, meeting specific conditions, or reaching specific milestones. By setting up these transitions, you ensure that the deal progresses through your sales process in a logical manner, and the transitions are represented in green and blue, the blue being common transitions that are available to use in all of the stages that you have in your sales process. Next, we have actions. These are the specific tasks and activities that need to be completed within each stage. These can include sending emails, making calls, scheduling meetings, or creating follow-up tasks. By defining actions, you ensure that the necessary steps are taken at the right time, providing a consistent and systematic approach to managing your sales process. Automation rules is the last element, and they play a crucial role in blueprints. They enable you to trigger actions based on stage transitions, such as sending automated emails when a deal moves to the negotiation stage, or assigning follow-up tasks when a lead is qualified. These rules ensure that the important actions are executed promptly, increasing efficiency and minimizing human error. If you click on any of these stages that are white, you can add actions and automation rules here. Next, we'll dive into Zoho CRM and show you how to create a blueprint. We are now inside of Zoho CRM. To create a blueprint, navigate to the settings by clicking on the setup icon on the top right, and under process management, select blueprint. Below, we can see that we already have some blueprints that are in our system. To create a new blueprint, you would select this blue button here. And this box should pop up where it's going to ask you to fill out some information. Start off by naming your blueprint. Next, it's going to ask you to choose a module. We're creating a blueprint for our sales process, and all of our customers need to go through this process to complete the deal. So we'll be selecting the deals module here. We can choose the simple standard layout to create our blueprint, so we don't need to change anything here. And here where it says field, it says to choose a field pick list with multiple values. To track our sales process in this case, the field we need to select is stages. You can also go in here and add any criteria that needs to be met for your blueprint process to trigger. We won't be doing that for this example, so you can go on and click next. And once you click on next, you'll be taken to this builder page where you can start creating your blueprint. On the bottom right side, you'll have the options for the field that you chose on the setup page. So for us, we chose the field stages. So you can see these stages that are going to make up our sales process here that we can drag and drop in here on our builder page. If for some reason you don't have any states that you want to add into your blueprint, you can just click on this plus button, add in the stage name, probability percentage, and the deal category and forecast category, 
and click on done. And that'll add the stage here. So you can just drag in, drop it to your blueprint. So next I will be showing you how to create a blueprint. I've already had some things set up and I'll just show you some basic things that you can do when you're building a blueprint on Zoho CRM. So to start off, you would need to drag and drop the various stages that you want in your sales pipeline. I've already got all of these dropped. So if I wanted to add another stage, I would just come over here and drag and drop that here. The next thing that you would need to do once all of your stages are added is adding the transitions in between each of these stages and they're shown in green here. So I'll do that next. Simply type in the transition name and click on save. And these are going to be the buttons that show up where you can click on and navigate to the next stages until your deal is complete essentially. So I've added in all the stages and transitions that I need. The next thing you would do is click on these transition buttons. And here you can add things that you want your customer to do before, during, and after these transitions. So I can come over here and make notes as mandatory, make attachments as mandatory, add tags, and you can even add other things as well. And what we'll do is it'll just pop up a box where they'll have to add in notes whenever they move on to a certain section or a certain stage in your blueprint. For the actions after, you can set email notifications, task, field updates, web hooks, custom actions, and tags. And that's pretty much all you can do on blueprints. You can customize it, automate your sales process, and make your life a whole lot easier. Now we'll jump in to one of our deal records and see what it looks like from there. We're now inside of a specific deal record in Zoho CRM. And with our blueprint created, you can see the current stage or state that our deal is in, which is job one. And you can also see the transition buttons that are available that will progress your customers through the sales pipeline. You can simply click on this transition button here and it will move you on to the next stage of your deal in which you structured your blueprint to be. Following the specific order that you structured your blueprint, it'll force your users to take certain steps to proceed through the deal. And this creates a systematic approach to how you deal with your customers and prospects. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you need assistance building or structuring your blueprint, schedule a free appointment using the link in the description.